Hi there, my name is Vadim Michalenka from howtoanalyzedata.net. In the previous section, we've created professionally looking 3D networking diagram. Uh, if you would like to learn more how this was done, just go back and watch uh, the first video. In this section, we're going to look how to make it look prettier and more professional. We just use default objects and uh, default fonts and default lines from Visio. Now we'd like to add uh, some specificity and uh, make it look uh, more professional and uh, use more professional design scheme, uh, maybe potentially uh, adding some arrow endings and using some features of the Visio that are easy to use, but at the same time help you make your diagram look uh, prettier. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the lines. And you see that these lines, they don't have uh, any arrows in the end. And Visio allows us to add arrows. Sometimes you want to show the data flow. In this way, it's bidirectional, right? It goes from firewall into the server and back from the server into the firewall. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the home, uh, click a pointer tool. This is where we can select the object and look at the properties of the object. And here we're going to look at uh, what type of connector, first of all, we can use. Could be a straight connector. Right, and this is the difference between the straight connector and the other connector that we had. I'm going to use undo button to go back. I like this one more. I don't like uh, straight connector, but that's just my preference. Um, I'm also going to look at the format shape. And here uh, you see the format shape um, details on the right. And it shows uh, what are the options that are available. First of all, we can change color. We can change uh, uh, the dash type. Right now it's solid, but you can use some dashes here if you want to. I'm going to keep it as is. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the begin arrow type, and I'm going to uh, use this type of arrow. And I'm also going to uh, do the end arrow type, and I'm going to use the same type of arrow. And I'm going to do this for all the arrows. To me, it's more professional. You might disagree as a viewer, um, but um, good thing to know is that you have choices and you can choose something that you consider to be professional looking. So this arrows. Now, I, I don't like these colors. I mean, just because they're default and everybody's probably using it without understanding that there are some easy ways to make the color thing better. And I'm going to show this to you real quick. If we go to design tab, um, we have themes option. Right, and uh, you can just click here and see how many of those themes are available. Um, I'm not a professional designer, but uh, if I see something that looks professional, I like that. Uh, so uh, if you're the same way, this is really helpful. And you can pick uh, a different themes here. So for example, let's just try this one. And you can probably even move from theme to theme and, and pick something that you like. So let's say I found something that uh, I like. Um, which this one looked pretty similar to original one. Um, but I kind of like the modern design, even though servers typically not depicted. So this is probably the, the best one. Now you have some variations of this. So once you selected the modern design, right, you can choose the color theme and uh, play with the colors. Right, so there are a lot of different options for the colors. Um, what you got to keep in mind when you pick the design theme, keep in mind that it's most likely will be printed at black and white. So if you pick um, very contrast colors or something that would be on a darker background, it might be hard to see when you print it. So that's what I always try to keep in mind um, when I print such diagrams. And you see when you change the theme and variant, it also changed the stencils and shapes and how they're going to look when you bring them over. So keep that in mind too if you're planning to add additional objects. You can also change and add background. So, for example, if it's like a global network, uh, you can put a global uh, background if you like. So that also looks professional, but you might want to reconsider the variants and the colors uh, once you do that. So this is probably going to look a little prettier. Uh, so hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, uh, there are a lot of other options I would recommend you investigate um, uh, by looking at Visio documentation. Thank you for watching.
I hope you found this information valuable and enjoyed the video. Please make sure to check out my other videos on the subject and please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you want to learn more about uh, Visio tips and techniques, you can do it on my website at www.howtoanalyzedata.net slash Visio. Uh, you can also check out the Visio training I recommend by going to www.howtoanalyzedata.net slash Visio training and make sure to sign up for my email list. I'll keep you posted on the tips, tricks and techniques and other promotions available. You can do it at www.howtoanalyzedata.net slash email. See you next time.